Um, Miss Wyndham, what had you done earlier that day? I got up, got a latte, went to the gym, got a perm, and came home. When you got in the shower? I believe the witness has made it clear that she was in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Um, Miss Wyndham, had you ever gotten a perm before? Yes. How many would you say? Two a year since I was 12. You do the math. You know, a girl in my sorority, Teresa Marcinko, got a perm once. We all tried to talk her out of it. Curls weren't a good look for her. She didn't have your bone structure. Oh. But thankfully, that same day, she entered the Beta Delta Pi wet t-shirt contest where she was completely hosed down from head to toe. Objection! Why is this relevant? I have a point, I promise. Then make it. Yes, Your Honor. Chutney, why is it that Tracy Marcino's curls were ruined when she got hosed down? Because they got wet? Exactly. And isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thyglocally? Uh, yes. And wouldn't somebody who's had, say, 30 perms before in their life be well aware of this rule? And if, in fact, you weren't washing your hair, as I suspect you weren't because your curls are still intact, wouldn't you have heard the gunshot? And if, in fact, you heard the gunshot, Brooke Wyndham wouldn't have had time to hide the gun before you got downstairs. Which means that you would have had to have found Brooke Wyndham with a gun in her hand to make your story plausible. Isn't that right? She's my age. Did she tell you that? How would you feel if your father married someone who was your age? You, however, had time to hide the gun, didn't you, Chutney? After you shot your father. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was you walking through the door. Oh.